for the community loan fund was doing the work around resident ownership and, and parks and really trying to figure out um, how to support people living in manufactured housing in the state. Uh, nobody in the affordable housing world was even looking at manufactured housing as anything other than the problem or one of the problems that needed to be solved. When this park was privately owned, the septic systems were run down, the uh, water systems were run down. There was a lot of uh, uh, drugs in here before the police were here all the time. There'd be rent increases and rent increases and the rents still went up. We were caught in the midst of a revolving door, buying and selling, buying and selling, with the tenants paying for their profits. They own what, where you're living and can tell you, get out, I want more money or get out, or even a bolt, uh, just get out because I want to build something else here. Manufactured housing residents in New Hampshire we're always at the risk that at any given day, at any given time, they could be told by the park owner that they had 60, 90 days to relocate, and after which time their, their park would be um, no longer a park. The, we had what's called a 60-day notice. Basically, the, we had to come up with $15.4 million in a very short period of time. He gave us 10 days and that was just before Christmas. You have got to come up with the money, and we're talking $1.5 million. The first group of homeowners that we worked with that were about to be evicted, we helped them with the idea that they could buy it themselves. They could create a corporation and become the new owners. And then once they grasped that, they were like, where would we get the money? And it's we're a loan fund, we'll lend it to you. We actually put the whole closing together within, you know, from, from the 1st of September till we closed uh, December 28th. And we closed uh, just before the deadline with about 36 hours to spare. We were able to close on the last day of December, 1986. I think that's amazing. It's a big difference now. It's a safe place to live. It's a friendly place to live. Now I'm going to say it's a community. Well, my home is my home. Uh, it's just I have more pride in it. Uh, I help out my neighbors maintain their home. We're running the park and people have a say in what we do and that um, in what we spend our money on and um, we, we've been very very lucky uh, here. Our rent has not increased in the 11 years that we've been a co-op. Owning the park means taking on the responsibilities that the owner used to have. By taking it on, you get to do things that you didn't get to do before, like getting to know your neighbors, and also getting to do things that, that might not have just been on the mind of the investor. When the place was originally built, there was no really codes or it was string things out where things were. So there was electrical power just kind of strung around and cable kind of strung around. And so. Uh, 1.4 million dollars later and all new water and sewer mains all the way around. Um, Double the number of fire hydrants. Setting it up so for years down the road the people who live here don't have to worry about that. There are people in the financial world now that are looking at recognizing the fact that cooperatives are a business and the manufactured homes inside a cooperative is a good investment. What's very interesting about these resident-owned communities, these businesses, is that um, the transformation of the people in those communities is profound. One of the things that the leadership program has given me is the inspiration to take a greater part in town government. And uh, right now I'm on my third term being elected as a budget committee member for the town. It's my fifth year as chairman of the local transportation committee. Being president of the co-op has, has, really, has really changed me, it's made me look and find creative ways for problem solving. I can remember being on a panel one time quite a few years ago. There's different types of cooperatives. I have to tell you, there were people there and they gave their, you know, I went to this college, I went to that college, I have this degree, and I'm sitting there great. Jokingly, by the time they got to me, so all I can tell you is I went to high school and I'm not sure why I'm sitting here. And a member out there in the audience said, well, you're the only one running a two-point one million dollar operation, and so that said it all. 
you still look at look at it today uh, for what we what we have and what we manage on our own, and it's it's quite incredible. That we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the Community Loan Fund. The Community Loan Fund took the problem and they they unpacked it to understand what was wrong with the systems that made that that problem persist, and how could they intervene in the system to change the system. And they had done it, and they had proved that they could do it, and they had proved that they could take it to scale locally. But this is local talent that is global talent, and you have it right here in New Hampshire, and you guys are incredibly lucky to have them here. 100 co-ops, 100 groups of neighbors taking over their parks as resident-owned communities, and 100 co-ops of which all still exist. None of them have gone out of business, None of them have failed. Homeowners in these hundred cooperatives in New Hampshire need to feel so proud about what they have accomplished. So many people didn't think it would work, didn't think it was possible, didn't think they could do it. And they are doing it, and they're doing it really well. It feels great. It feels great to be one of the first hundred. I didn't think I'd live long enough to see that happen, but I might live long enough to see even more, you know? <laughs> It feels great to be part of the first 100, and, and particularly to be in the lower part of that first 100. Like We are number 20 in the state of New Hampshire. We're the proof of the pudding. We're the proof of the pudding. It works. It can work. It should work. It's been a long time coming, and I don't feel like we're finished yet. I see 450 co-ops. 